All right, so you might have heard that kind of piano sound before. That's called a piano montuno. It looks really hard, but it's not that hard. I'm gonna show it to you in three easy steps. Let's go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna know is we're doing this in the key of C minor. So we're gonna have a C minor triad right here. Okay, so the rhythm on your right hand is gonna be alternating between C and then E flat and G. So when on tunos, we have a lot of chromaticism a lot of the time. So in this case, we're gonna be using B natural and B flat. So we're gonna be alternating kind of like this. So that's the basic pattern I'm doing, and there's lots of offbeat. So it's gonna be going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So tons of offbeats happening there. So try it right-handed, and if you can get that, see if you can add your left hand in there. So you'll also notice that at the end of that, I'm always hitting that C twice to start that loop over again. If you can do that, do it hands together. Next step is what lots of Montunos like to do is introduce a lot of octaves. So what I'm doing here is I'm going C octaves, then E flat and G. B octaves, E flat and G. B flat octaves, same thing, you get the pattern, and it's alternating every time. Twice. Okay, so if you can do that at full speed now, All right, so if you got that so far, the next step to make it a little bit more advanced is to move those inner voices around. So right now, those inner voices are staying on E flat and G. That's the third and the fifth of the C minor chord. So, what I'm doing sometimes is I'm just doing a broken chord. Or you can go the other way. And you can kind of do it whenever. You do, every time you do that note together, you can break it apart going up or going down. So all together. Super spicy. That's why they call it salsa. All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about the left hand tumbao. So the, that's what the bass line is typically called and it kind of sounds something like this. So this left hand is actually really tricky to get hands together. Hands separately, these seem like no big deal, but it's the hands together part where it gets a little bit tricky. So starting off, you're gonna start on beat one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So we're really targeting beat one, the end of two, and beat four. After that first measure though, it's just gonna keep on flowing and you're not really gonna hit beat one anymore. You're just gonna hit the end of two and four. So let's just hear what that sounds like. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Two and three and four. So to get this slowly, start trying it out just like this, hands together. The hard part is everyone always wants to play on beat one together at at the start of every measure, but it's actually gonna be on beat four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So that's the tricky part to try and get. One and two and three and four. Oh, I see, I even messed it up there. Let me try again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this with the octaves now. Let's add those inner voices now. And the nice thing is you can do this on any chord. Take an F minor chord. So now we're gonna do the same thing with E and E flat. Go up an octave.
And then when you add some percussion, it sounds like this. All right, so there you have it. There is the famous piano montuno. Few easy steps, takes a little bit of practice, especially with that left hand, but just take it nice and slow and you'll get it. So leave a comment below, let me know how you did. Was it easy, was it hard? Do you sound super cool now? <laughs> uh, let us know in the comments below. Happy practicing.